All right, three, two, one, go. I'm Pat. Hey, Patrick. I'm Jeffrey. We were talking. Since William's not here, you, you <clears> can <throat> option gets Freddy's. But the Broncos are playing right now, so I understand why he's not here. I thought I thought uh, he, he had his kiddos. Well, that might also be true. But I mean, he's still watching the game either way. I guarantee. Children or not, that's that's children. immaterial. Yeah. So they were. I think they were losing when I left. To the uh, to the Vikings. I uh, I'm having a hard time telling who's who and who's good this year. So, <laughs> um, yeah, you got me. I didn't watch any football today, so I, 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 I slept. Patriots are off, yeah, most of the day. <laughs> I got a good book that I've been reading. It's on UFOs. What's this? I don't know, man. It's just it's something that got recommended to me. So it's like. Uh, almost like the skeptic's guide to UFOs kind of thing. So, like, is it tongue in cheek or is it? No, it's very serious. It's like, all right, so let's let's see what what are you know? Okay, it's kind of like a history of UFOlogy. So, oh, interesting. yeah, which yeah. actually goes back to all the way back to like 1937, War of the Worlds, the the Orson Welles radio play. Because, like, prior to that, it was, like, I mean, even if you had read H.G. Wells' book, you were kind of rare. So, you know. Okay, so it was as niche science fiction as it, it kind of very got. niche yeah. science fiction, yeah. yeah. So, and then, you know, so it blew up after that. And then, um, it's, it's interesting because it talks about all the TV shows and all the cultural side of the shit. So oh, okay. they came okay. up like really in the fifties and the sixties where like, you know, Star Trek is your number one performing show, you know, for a brief period of time. And then there's like all these other ones, Buck Rogers and shit like that. Um, and then, yeah. And then by the time you hit, like I, the time that I remember, like the eighties, you know, all the, like so many of your blockbusters, like humongous movies were based upon aliens in one way or another. So, all the way up until, you know, the early 2000s. So, um, anyway, it was, it was, it was, yeah, it's kind of interesting because it does talk about the cultural side of it, too. But then it goes into, like, a lot of the science behind it and, you know, the SETI program and all this shit. It's a really yeah. neat little book. So, yeah. So Yeah, I'm it sounds about, interesting, yeah. Yeah, I'm only about two-thirds of the way through it, so. Well, because it changes pretty drastically throughout the years, basically, the, the approaches that they take, or at least... Right, so, um, yeah, I, I I haven't gotten to like too much of the modern stuff. So like you know because they say that it takes like, so they're setting up the last the last third of the book here <clears throat> where they're basically talking about how this kind of goes off the rails, you know, to where it just starts winding down into like all these government conspiracies and shit like that. Oh, that is okay. actually a newer phenomenon than people think. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me in one bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that's a much much newer. That's like an X Files era kind of thing. So mm -hmm. you know, um, whereas before it was kind of like oh, well, flying saucer. That was the other thing. I was talking about Roswell a little bit. Flying saucers weren't even a thing when Roswell happened. So is my understanding. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's why they kept referring to them as discs. So, you yeah. know, uh, and we were talking about all oh, the CIA swooped in. The CIA didn't exist when Roswell happened. <laughs> it predated. I, yeah, I didn't think this. Uh, yeah. I, I never thought it was the CIA. I always thought it was just the military, the, the army. Or... Yeah, well, it was supposed to be the Air Force, actually. Air Force, okay. so, but it was still, I think it was still the USAAF, so the Army Air Force. Okay. Um, and right. they actually go into, this guy actually did a good job of kind of going, it's like, hey, look, you believe what you want to believe. Here's what we know about this and he's like the army has consistently tried to tell you that it's some kind of balloon system all right yeah they lied about it for many many years because it was a balloon system that was actually designed to uh, uh detect thermonuclear explosions so they were trying to see if the russians were getting ready to to detonate a bomb about that time and so it had it had okay. as, it had as okay. much secrecy around it as the yeah. manhattan project did. yeah <clears throat> um, well, no, it would, it would, these would have just been atomic explosions. Thermonuclear was until the fifties, but anyway. Um, so, but it's interesting because they were talking about well, this shit had hieroglyphs on it, and all this different stuff, you know. But they were like, yeah, okay, so they were still using war surplus stuff, and actually, part of this thing was made out of wallpaper. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> 
<laughs> they talk about these DOD guys years and years later. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah, I remember the wallpaper. <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> so, but it's just, huh. it's it's one of okay. those things that's so ridiculous, it's probably true. <laughs> you know? So. Well, this is a weird one. Okay, because if you're going to attract that through, you know, if you talk about that, that quote-unquote, you know, conspiracy thing, and I, I guess I don't have to put it in quotes because it, it genuinely was something that sure. people thought about, right? Yeah. Regardless of whether or not there was an actual conspiracy there, um, no, I mean it blew up. It was all over the news that week, right? So it was right. in every newspaper in America. And so you know, just because it, it kind of hit this touchstone period, and they went in and they looked at like so the base, you know, all right, where they it is White Sands where they're doing all this shit, sure, you know, where they're developing you know new weapons, new new aircraft, new balloons in particular, high altitude aircraft. Oh yeah, and then things that like are designed to. Um, <clears throat> operate at extremely high altitudes. And so that's why you right. have this humongous area there. All right. So the dude bails out. Okay. We're going to go get him. But, you know, um, so it's huge just because you're going to be coming down from that high anyway. Uh, but they were, it, it was interesting because they've actually gone through and like the GAO itself has actually gone through and released all the, 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 the documents related towards the, the public information office with the bomb group there. And, they had a very busy month. <laughs> you know? so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they documented you know, all of it. I understand that, yeah. And the thing that I didn't know, this was really interesting, this book pointed out, was that all this stuff was documented before FOIA was a thing. So you, you were never supposed to see any of it. Right. Nobody was right. ever supposed to see any right. of it. So, you know, but when FOIA, you know, comes out decades later, uh, they're like, oh, well, yeah, we'd like to see all that. And they're like, all right, here you go. Well, that's fast as yep, yep, so. Yep, here you go. Yep. <laughs> so, um, anyway, it's interesting. But then, you know, they're talking about the SETI stuff, and I didn't really know that much about that. So that's pretty interesting um, how they use radio telescopes to try and, like, like contact the movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So... And there's nothing out there. Nope. They, no, they keep looking, man. There's nothing. So they like every now and then they'll get excited, but then they'll realize it's actually now it's just a signal that bounced off a moon or something, you know. So <laughs> there's that. I mean, so this is, I mean, the way that this was was put to me uh, by one of my professors was this. He 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 said it like this. So all right. So there's a number of things that they look for, you know, over. You know the course of you know what they're looking for setting and everything like that mm -hmm. right and it has everything to do with radio waves yeah. right radio waves emitted by any number of criteria right? i didn't realize how quiet they are so they were actually talking about how like the amount of noise that's emitted by space by a star that's you know multiple light years away all right has about the energy of like six snowflakes landing on the face of the planet and I was like, that's a long, I mean, come on, man, that's, <laughs> that's a long way to try. I know, man, but I didn't realize it was that shit. small. I didn't think it was that, that, it, it required that amount of fidelity. So it surprised me. Well, so. think about the, the, all right, well, I don't want to get into the science of it, but essentially, okay. I mean, you're talking about the energy loss between. Oh, sure. So, yeah. I mean, the, the fact that there's anything yeah. is really quite interesting. But, I mean, what they're looking for is. Um, basically the radio waves that would have emitted from Earth, not just from broadcast, mm -hmm. right, but from, like, the the unearthing of radioactive material. Right, yeah, sure. Yeah. Right? And the problem here is this is what people forget when, when it comes to listening, uh, you know, on, on the SETI program is... It's not just like you, you turn on this tuner and they treat it like it's a CB radio right now. Yeah, no, not even close. It is all of history within this range yeah. reaching us at this time yep. period and they've never heard a peep. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the thing that's scary about it yeah. is um, either it happened, okay, theoretically before our time, and I mean significantly before our time. Right. Right, where they would have you know, done something like that, or there's just nothing. No, there's nothing, yeah. Because it, what what they've never even heard is they've never even heard the unearthing of mm -mm. radioactive material. Yeah, and they, they, yeah, and so they've gotten to the point, like, I guess, so I just finished the study chapter, um, where they're, 
they got up to the point in time where what is it the the big radio telescope that was in Puerto Rico collapsed what, two years oh, ago. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What is that called? I can't remember. It was, it was the Golden Eye thing. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, but it was actually part of the SETI program as well. Yeah. Um, uh, apparently, it wasn't that useful just based upon where it's located, um, equator-wise. So, but anyway, I don't know. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. It seems um, like a shitty thing to build so big if it's not. They, in a good spot well actually it wasn't it, so they were talking about it and they said it was actually a really convenient spot because it's a natural sinkhole so they didn't have to excavate that thing out oh okay yeah okay, okay, so got it was it. just a got natural it. sinkhole got and, it. you know it was round so they're like cool perfect <laughs> yeah. here you go yeah so apparently the chinese have a couple too that is the same thing it's like oh here's a giant sinkhole so let's put a fucking radio telescope in it apparently i don't know uh, but they were talking about how, you know, the SETI program consistently has to fight for funding uh, because they just they don't find anything. And so there's just yeah. like a lot of pressure out there to find something, you know, um, and it's just they're like, hey, man, we're, you know, these are the hard nosed scientists are like, we, yeah, we, <laughs> we're, we're dialing it in. We're even at the point in time where we're picking particular systems and things like that to uh -huh. actually listen to. Oh um, man, there's just nothing. So yeah, to the point where <laughs> they direct it at at systems that that theoretically they look at and they say, well, this would be most likely to hold life. Yes. So focus on this and fucking nothing. Nothing. Yeah. 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 So the book's got all these like abduction stories from the '50s. So apparently, like abductions were big in the '50s, and then they died out for a while, and they came back in the '90s. They came back in yeah, the '80s. Came and back 90s. in the '90s. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, but they were they were talking about like. You know, how so many people, they, there was not really a stigma associated with it back then. It was just kind of like, what's wrong with this guy? And so they have, like, fucking Harvard psychologists and stuff, like, actually doing research on this shit. So, at that time. Um, and then, yeah, when it came back later, it was like, oh, you want to get on TV, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> completely see, different. This, yeah. Is, this is the thing, is, <laughs> is like, when you go from... Uh, when you go from basically like a, a scientific like nothing and then eventually when you have uh when you have the shows that pop up that are basically like the the 70s 80s like in search of and, right yep you know stuff like that where they end up making you know local celebrities out of these idiots and and, and don't get me wrong look all right so um think about what that meant then versus now Right. Oh yeah, it's different. Yeah, you know? you're not Twitter famous, man. You're right. You're you know, famous, famous. Like yeah, famous, famous, or you know, I got in the chieftain famous, you know, uh -huh. kind of thing. Yeah, yep. because everybody reads it, you know, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, that part was kind of interesting too. So I actually talk about some like how the military in the '50s was really curious about. You know, they thought it was Soviet, you know, especially after Sputnik. You yeah, know, what the fuck absolutely. did they figure out? You know, kind of thing. And so they were actually kind of upfront about it. If you see shit, report it. You know, and then they go investigate it and stuff like that. And they just they kept going to places where they're like, "No, nope, that's weather balloon. That actually is swamp gas." <laughs> you know, <laughs> so nope, that is Venus in its reflection. So got it. Then there's actually a few in there that are kind of like we have no idea. That's just just fucking weird, right? So, right. yeah, it could be this, right. but given the evidence available, I can't make that distinction. Exactly. So you get marked inconclusive, right? Which is possibly the most mysterious term on the planet. I mean, I will, I will share anecdotally. I mean, because my dad was involved with some of this stuff, mm -hmm. you know. I remember in the 80s when there were stories. There was a, a new string of these things when the F 117s were crashing. Yeah. And in Dreamland, I remember that. Yeah, I mean, in terms of, and I think there was another one like Alaska or something like that. I can't remember, but there were, there were a couple of different crashes where people did see the wreckage. Yeah, and you know that was something Dad put out to me. He's like, "Look, man, it's like you've seen it now. I couldn't talk about it before." Yeah, but it's on TV. So yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, "But um, if you saw a plane like that or the pieces of it, what would you think it is?" Right. Yeah. Exactly. Like, okay. Okay. They were talking about the same thing with like the bodies, some of the alien bodies they found in the in in White Sands. But they would, so at the time the Air Force was doing these high like because the U two was secret at the time. Yeah. Okay. So, but For they had reason. they had to make sure that you know the ejector seats and shit like that worked though, and that it, as a pilot you could survive you know a a, a parachute bailout from sixty thousand feet or whatever. 
And so they would drop dummies all the time. <laughs> you know? That's kind of funny. All right. Now that's, so, you know, that's some of these things, the they, they, parachutes did not work too well. And so they hit the ground at terminal velocity. <laughs> 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 and sometimes they just couldn't find them, you know, because it was such a big area. And so, yeah, they started painting them all kinds of weird ass colors. See if they could find them. <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah, it was, it was kind of funny. It was kind of like, so they went through a lot of the actual, you know, documentation that had been released. It was like, that makes sense. Okay, got it. All right. <clears throat> it was funny, too, is, you know, it's from that that you do see that that evolution of um, where that goes, you know, entertainment-wise. Because, I mean, you know, the, what's, the, what's the big, right, what is the big, you know, theme that they usually have when it comes to, like, aliens in the 50s? Oh, well, it's like, yeah, they're either giant radiated cockroaches. Right. It's... Or something like that. Or you get, like, the day the world stood still, where it's, mm -hmm. like, trying to moralize on you in one way or another over the fear of thermonuclear war. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's one of those two things. It's either yeah. monsters. Right. Or it, it, which it's just another reason for monsters. And what a, what a great time at that point to sit there and say, like, all right, because if, if you go, you know, before that, what are the, what are the monster movies that predate, you know, Alien monsters. Oh, it's Frankenstein, Dracula, the Universal like monsters, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So when you run the out of man. Yeah. yeah, when you run out of gas with you know uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon and the mm, mummy yeah. and, and that kind of stuff. Oh, the mummies, yeah, 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 and, and mummies suck. I mean, it's, mummies are stupid, it, <laughs> especially back then. I mean, it's as lame as it gets. That, but you know, that's the 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 thing is, is you have this new avenue to go in a strange new directions yeah. with with this, and it's always like. Um, you know, monsters and stuff. And then, yeah, in the 60s, 70s, it, ter it turns from that to subversion. It's it's about, like, invasion of the body snatchers. Right. And it's, you know, um, that's where it starts getting a hard, you know, uh, the communist. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. Or, or there's, like, a communist. There's a cabal. Uh, yeah, yeah, somewhere. yeah, conspiracy. There's, there's an octopus brain somewhere. That's yeah. Look, man. Eventually, they get to they live, and that's as it's as is uh, yeah, open was, as it gets when it turns yeah. to it's well, like I it's subversion. It, it, it's like the thing. It's, it's it is, but you know, it's also like that. That theme didn't accumulate with that movie. I mean, no, 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 no. But it's in the it's in the. I mean, they still have that line in the. Uh, Fucking Independence Day. It's like, what? You don't think a hammer costs thirty thousand dollars, do you? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, oh, that's when that's when you hit all the keys at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's what that noise is. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's simple things. It's like it it came from it, the blob. I mean, these oh, these the things that that just... I actually watched the the eighties one not too long ago. That movie is. Fucked up. That movie is fucked up. That is. They pull a guy through a drain. So, it's amazing. Yeah. It, it, it is a. It is a. A. Just a showpiece of practical effects at their most disgusting. The they're people horrifying. It, when they're when they're being dissolved in the blob and stuff too. I'm like, God, this it's is gross, man. This is vile, but it's amazing because yeah. you know that there's no computer anywhere close. To no, this. no, no. This is all just. No, it's all fucking cornstarch slime. And it shit. sure is, at, at its absolute. At its absolute best, it's delightful. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's fucking gross. Like, don't get me wrong. So, what the the movie I watched a little bit ago, okay, about a week ago, The Fly, right? Oh, really, Brundlefly? Brundlefly. Wow. Um, yeah, that last scene in that one is gross, man. Where he barfs all over the dude's leg and his hand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. He I melts mean, his hand. Just, That's just, right. It, well, both. Yeah. I just remember the leg because he just like burns it right down to the bone. It, he he yeah. gets them both. Yeah. It's it's. It's disgusting. That guy's usually I mean, a bad guy in most movies. He's actually the nice guy in that one. Who the guy who gets barfed? The on? guy who gets barfed. On. <laughs> well, yeah. it's it's funny because he's actually seen as the bad guy, but he's the guy who actually tries to save Gina Davis. Right, right. But he's, yeah. That's that that is the interesting part of the movie is that he is there's a flip about halfway through. Right. Once the actual like bad parts of the right. metamorphosis appear. Oh yeah. Well yeah. After she's clipping the shit off his back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, just it's uh, it's delightfully I gross. I've not seen that one in a while. <laughs> it's uh, it was it was way better than I remember. I thought it's a good movie. I thought uh, uh, Jeff Brundlefly Goldblum was going to be intolerable, <laughs> but he was actually at his his, his <clears throat> uh, most enjoyable in that point before he got 
Before he literally turns into a fly at the end. Well, before he literally plays every role exactly as himself. Like, he doesn't dial himself oh, down yeah. to nine. No, right? that, that happens starting... Because that movie's got to be, what, like, 84, 86? I can't remember the year, but you're about right. So he's it's only right five now. years away from being Jeff Goldblum, super scientist at Jurassic Park. So, which he played that role forever. What was that, 93? Oh, I, I want to say it's... 91? Uh, it's got to be... We split the difference at 92? Yeah, I could call it 92. All right. So it might be 93, though. Um... Well, okay. I, so, I guarantee you that I was in, I was in, I was in junior high when that came out. Right, and yeah. you were there for the full three years, right? Yes. Okay. Were you in your last year of I junior high remember. there? Yeah, There's it might no have way. been. I might have been. There's no way because I'm I'm pretty sure that I was still in grade school at the time. Okay. So if I was in six, you would have been in, in about eighth. Maybe eighth. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. So it's got to be right there, 91, so 91 92. 92. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then Jeff Goldblum is just Jeff Goldblum from that point in time on. I mean, you mm -hmm. see him in more Jurassic Park movies than anything else after that until he shows up in fucking Capital One ads or whatever they well, were. Well, okay, so there's a problem. Is there, there's, there's two periods where they say, like, um, you've got a choice of either to do some acting or be yourself times two. And oh. it's just it's cemented with Independence Day. Right, you're right. So yeah, he's himself times two. I forgot about that. One, one. after the other, yeah. they're like, no, this is your thing, and then he just yeah, just, you're Ian Malcolm, just in yeah. versus aliens. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you were before kind. You were before kind yeah. too, but it's okay, man. <laughs> yeah, and that's where I kind of find him insufferable. But uh, yeah, he was he was doing some honest to god like acting. Yeah, I, I had, like I said, I haven't seen that movie in a long time, but it hasn't been that long. It's been less than I'd say five years since I've seen it. It's so gross, but but, yeah, I, it's, but I it's, love it. It's horrifying. Yeah. So yeah, I I, don't, I think the blob is worse. So blob is terrifying, man. It, it's it's the, I, the, the 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 worst part of the blob. Well, I mean, okay, so getting pulled through the the sink drain is pretty horrifying. The, that, that movie fucking got me with that. It's just like it, it got me. I'm sorry, man. It's just it's it's it's, it's not possible. So you know, there's a point in time where it's kind. Of, and I mean, they show the bulged out pipe. It's like, come on, man. So you know, so you guys just painted a balloon silver. I get it. You know, so, but then like the chick who gets trapped in the in the phone booth. That one sucks. That's just oh that, yeah, I mean, that's yeah. the worst. It's terrible. So, yeah, yeah. So that one's the worst. Uh, and then that one's got the preacher guy in it, who's actually a really good bad guy. So and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who the, is that? The, the, I don't remember yeah. his name. I don't think I saw him in that much else. But he would play roles like that. Yeah. But then he's got that little jar of the shit. <laughs> That's a nice twist at the end of the movie. Yeah, it's it's a to me it's actually it's a stellar remake, and I've seen the 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 original. The original was um, terrible. I don't know. Awful. I don't know why it took. I don't know why it was so memorable. I have no idea. It's, it's it's dumb. So, I think I might have asked my dad yeah. on that one. I said like, "What was the big deal about that?" He said, "I don't know. Uh, pretty lame, as far as I was concerned." Yeah. Um, There's a couple movies from that era that it just they, they 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 just don't tickle me in the right way, man. That's definitely one of them. Um, I was watching Doctor Strange Love the other day. That one's that the same thing in that movie. I I mean, so many people think that movie's fucking brilliant. I find it irritating. Bro, so, I, and I I love Peter Sellers, but come on, man. <laughs> see, I don't. Oh, okay. I, I think he's fine. I think he's fine, but I don't love him. Yeah. Um, I I mean, I guess my my thing here is, uh, every time I've pressed the issue, it has always been you had to be there. I'm like, well, I wasn't. Right. Okay. And I can't be. Yeah. No, I'm not going back in time. So yeah. You know, I I I understand that, but uh, yeah, I don't find it as. All right, so fuck it. I mean, if I'm just going to throw blasphemy out there, I'm going to find. I, I'm going to honestly say that I find most of Kubrick's work. It's insufferable. Extremely overrated. Uh, extremely. 2001 Space Odyssey is hands down the most overrated movie ever. Yeah, I I mean I have had so many mm. I've had that argument with many. I'm surprised mm. you and I haven't had that argument over the years. We but, may have. I I I think, I, I think we, we, we yeah I think, I think we, we just kind of it. boring, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if we said overrated, but uh, no, it's totally uh, overrated. It is boring. It's ridiculously boring. I mean, even the tense scenes, it's just it's all cinematography, it's colors, and then you know it's it's like the architecture. 
yeah. that people get a kick out of. But then if you actually sit down and just kind of watch the movie for its plot, it's kind of dumb. Well, that's what I'm saying is is if... And I love a lot of this stuff. I love a lot of like filmmaking stuff. And, and really, it's, it's like... How can I say this? All right. So it would be like going to a restaurant and saying like, wow, I don't like the way this tastes. Okay. And it's $71, but I appreciate how difficult this is to make. Yeah. Okay. Right. So the thing is, this movie is in love with its filmmaking, right? That's the thing is it's, it's, if, if your whole thing it, it is, is there and, and, but yeah. this is the thing, I know the people that, that like this movie are not all sitting there saying like, well, it's all about the filmmaking. Right? No, they're not. There's just not enough people no. in there that, that possibly care about that shit. Uh -uh. Um, but yeah, I, I guess that's the thing is is the the movie is such like it's on a technical level. It's like yeah, this is very very good. Um, I don't fucking care what's going on here, and you've given me no reason to. Mm -mm. No, not really. I yeah, it's just it, it, God, I hate to say it, but almost like the the one with Roy Scheider after it's actually better. So, oh, two thousand ten or whatever. I think. It is. It's actually got a rescue mission baked into it. I didn't so, even see it. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. You don't you're not missing out on anything. Oh, uh, and Kubrick didn't have anything to do with it either. So, but mm. um, I don't know. Yeah, so he's he's got he he is. Yeah, I mean, I have problems with him too. Like, what's the last thing that I think I saw of his? Um, did, he did he did Eyes Wide Shut, right? Yeah, that movie I, I, is. I do not like that movie. Okay, so it's again, it's <laughs> that was his last movie, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Um, again, my, my whole thing is it sets up something very interesting and just peters off. Yeah. Absolutely just peters off without even, I mean, there, there's a lot of supposition. There's a lot of like, oh, okay, well, here's what this goes like, okay, but does any of this fucking matter? No. No. It, it, your question is whether or not that there's something more sinister afoot, but if it is, who the fuck cares? There's no stakes in this. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, if you could sit there and look at it and say, like, okay, well, it's a character study, like, of what? I'm like, there's, again, a couple of few interesting concepts, but you don't take them far enough. It's, you spent more time on, on you know, um, on the movie itself. I, I mean... I mean, he's got some good stuff, though. I mean, he, he did a... So he did Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, half of it's interesting. Um, I've grown to appreciate the second half a little bit more. But it's not awful, but it, I haven't watched it a lot. I don't know why. I just to, for some reason of uh, all the Vietnam movies, it's the one that just sort of like rings least authentic. Well, I don't know Jack? why. Uh maybe. I don't know why. I don't know. Just something I've about seen it. Green that... Berets. That one's pretty bad. <laughs> so. No, I haven't. <laughs> Just think Genghis Khan. You know, yeah. I've heard people talk about it, but yeah. I haven't seen it. <laughs> Them talking about it was enough for me to say not not for me. No, it's not yeah. for you, man. Um, what else did he do? He did. Uh, oh, didn't he do? Um, you were watching it the other. Well, day. The Shining, of course. The Shining. Okay, that that movie's that one's grown on me a little bit. Um, what what was his other horror movie? Didn't you just watch it? Didn't he do The Exorcist? No. Oh, okay. I thought he did. No, no, no. That's that's that's, that's not him. Um, he did. All right. So if I walk through his, uh, let me try. And it was his... the other guy, Pollock. He did a uh, Rosemary's Baby, right? Pollock? No. Who's the guy who had to run away to France? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Polanski. Polanski. Thank Polanski. You. Yes. No. Uh, so. Yeah, so that wasn't Kubrick. So he did uh, Clockwork Orange. He did... Oh, okay. Uh, oh, shit. I haven't seen that in 20 years. I watched it about a year ago. Yeah? I haven't seen that one in a long time. Yeah, man. Again, the, the same thing applies. You had to be there. Um, I guess, yeah. <laughs> well, again, it, it's, it's something that was designed to be, you know, specifically... Um, like offensive to the eyes and ears of the sensibilities here to make a point right right like okay got it got it it was the same thing for me with the shining where i'm like i'm not knocking this movie but every touchstone of this has been uh parodied and stolen oh, yeah. And, yeah. and transformed uh to the point where i'm like i unfortunately it has lost its impact that's not your fault no that's not that my right? fault no, but it doesn't have that. I, I imagine again, it would have hit like fucking crazy for me if I was watching that in what 19... 1979 or yeah. whatever it was. Yeah. yeah, 
Um, um, yeah, so he did that. He did, uh, uh, like you said, Doctor Strange Love. He did um, mm. um, 2001. Yeah. He's already covered it. I. Something else. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we're through one or two. Yeah. I would love for it to be like fucking. He didn't just Scarface, did he? No. I didn't think so. No. I thought he had one action slash, like, slasher movie in there. Though, around that time. I might be wrong. Well, his slasher movie, quote unquote, was was The Shining. Yeah, that's true. I thought he had another one in there. I don't know. Maybe. All those guys broke in on a horror movie. Yeah, right. They they did. Right. Yeah. Well, like, if you count Jaws as a horror. Movie. Oh yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen that one in a little while. I know every line of that fucking movie. So. <laughs> you, you don't need to, I don't need to yeah, see it. You, again, could, yeah. you could read. Re, yeah, you <laughs> yeah. recite it from beginning to end. Yeah. 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 Um, but how is Jaws a horror movie? I mean, so I, it's, it's it's a horror movie. It's a Spielberg horror movie. I mean, you just watch Poultry. Yeah, so it's, there you go. Yeah, yeah that, is, so, that is the the Jaws of of. I mean, you could say you could say the Jurassic Park is a horror movie in that sense. So you know, um, I do. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna Jaws, it, the same way. It's got its jump scares and things like. It's got its creature, you know. Um. There's no motivation. It just eats you. <laughs> well, that's the scary part. Yeah. Well, uh, to me, I, I think that's the terrifying sure, part. Sure. Yeah. Well, the same thing's yeah. true with Jurassic Park. It's not like, hey, we're trying to bust out of this joint, you know? <laughs> Until you get to the later Jurassic Parks, yeah. It, it, when, right, yeah, when, they're when motivated. The, yeah, when the, when the dinosaurs start to, to, to act with this <laughs> like weird pets. motivation. Yeah. yeah of, of, Let's wow, team up and take. fight together. Oh, my God. Um, it's so bad, man. It's so bad. You know, somebody did point this out the other day. Uh... At least twice, and you can correct me, at least twice, uh, Hammond says he, that he spared no expense. Maybe he says it three times, but I know at least twice. Yeah, twice. What does he have one engineer and it's his, like, nephew? What? Why does he have, like, one engineer and it's his nephew? One, one, one. Why is Nedry the only guy that he has on staff doing that job? So if you if you watch the movie really carefully, okay, so there's actually announcements in the back where they're telling everybody else to get to the docks because the storm is oh, coming. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. it's 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 Spielberg putting this little piece of duct tape over that. You okay. Know? Yeah, but it's it's in there. So because in the book there's like hundreds of people but on the I island. Call, if I recall, and, yeah. yeah. And many 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 of them get murdered. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's 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 the the smart Spielberg part of like. Anybody who doesn't deserve to be introduced should be left out. Yes, we yeah. We, yeah. Okay. So your star, your shows are the dinosaurs and these three these three people. So we'll focus on them. Yeah. Okay. You know. Well, who's a? a I guess that's Jaws too. There's a, mm -hmm. there's really only three characters in Jaws. Would you say? It, well, yeah. There's a couple like side characters. You can call them the mayor. mayor. Yeah. Yeah. So with his boat anchor, you know, fucking stage. Isn't he awesome? That's so awesome. Dude, like, <laughs> <laughs> my my kids were in that. In the water <laughs> it's just so good. Yeah. That's... <laughs> you gotta sign it. Yeah. Yeah. Give me give me a pen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you tell me this. So like, if Quint didn't get you know go out the way he did. Mm -hmm. Would you still call it a horror movie, or would it like? Yeah, because honestly, the Quint one's pretty bad, but the guy in the robot's the worst. So where he chops his leg off, yeah. And, yeah. So I mean, I'm sorry, man. It's, yeah, it's... Quint gets it pretty bad too, but I mean, well, because he's the one that's like talking about it. He's just like, I don't want to go out like this. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you'll never catch me wearing a life jacket again. <laughs> <laughs> Crushes beer can against him. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a Jaws board game we should try it someday. What? Yeah, I do. I bought one like maybe five, six years ago. I didn't know they made one. I it was just at Target and uh it was on sale. And so it's 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 a game like that where you have um it's a two part game. And so the first part is so, so it's it's one of these antagonist games like that Camelot one. That oh, got. oh, uh, somebody gets uh, yeah. to play Jaws and you got to go around and eat people. Okay, okay so, yeah. Yeah. but you know, then the other players are Quint Hooper and, and Brody, and they can do different things on the island to pinpoint your location. 
And so if they pinpoint your location, then they go out and then you go out on the boat. Mm-hmm. So, and then you're on the boat and you flip the board over and if you're the shark, you can damage the boat. If you're the guys, you can try and kill the shark. So, okay. Yeah. yeah it's kind of neat. So it actually sounds kind of fun. Um, it's definitely not a two-player game, though. So oh, no. that's been the problem. Yeah. Wait, so, so is it a one-player game? I no, I think it'd take four. Oh, so, yeah. okay, okay. Do you stab him with the? I no, you don't oh, ram him. Oh. Like yeah, you, you use the the blipper and make him jump out of that door. So. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> bloop, bloop. Yeah. yeah. There's no mini sub in the game. So. That game sucks. I, I don't. No, I like, played so much of that game, man. <laughs> I played that game for days when I was a kid. So days and days and days to the point in time where I could depth charge fucking jellyfish with the best of them. Well, that is how you cleaned up. It to, was how to, you to cleaned up. Shells, yeah. Well, yeah, and you yeah. needed to get the mini sub. Yeah. So, because otherwise he was going to eat you. So, although you could, if it was Jaws, you could just go all the way to the top of the screen and he couldn't reach you. Up there. Well, yeah. So, but that's the. Once you got to level six or seven, I mean, you could fucking harpoon his ass to death. Anyway, he could. So, yeah. I mean, we had a Nintendo Advantage too, so yeah. that was cheater. That was one of the ones. I don't the think tur- that's cheating. No, I the, because the Turbo the, Button actually worked on that game. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> stop right there. You stop right there. The, the fact <laughs> that's not cheating because the the mechanic that they put in there right. is so artificial and stupid, <laughs> right? Where they're like, no, uh, well, so how many how many hits should it take to you know hit Jaws? Right? It's like I don't know a thousand. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> It's so dumb. It is, where, it's where, really dumb. <laughs> you would say, like, all right, wait a second. Let's rethink this. Instead of hitting him a million times, um, do we have some other way to, like, simulate that it's difficult to hurt him? Right. right? Or just make this tedious? No, and they went the tedious route. Absolutely, yeah. yes. They're yeah. like, do children have the stamina to... I read something about the development of that game ages ago, yeah. and it was just a shit show. So basically, the the guys who actually... So when Jaws the Revenge was coming out, so that was actually part of the marketing campaign. The game. So, the yeah. game. And yeah. so they basically said, hey, we need a fucking game by this date. Well, okay? yeah, you know who put that game out, right? I think it was Konami, wasn't uh, it? Uh, no, no, Who no, was no. it? it was that, that, that would make it a good game. No, it was Well, LJN. not everybody hits a thousand. <laughs> you know? No, but LJN was basically, that's the company that every right. company, was LJN. they all went to for that exact same thing. They did right. all the licensed titles. You're right. So those god-awful Back to the Future games on the NES. Those, oh, yeah, the Indiana Jones games. So Friday the 13th. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. The, 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 did they do the a... T2 game? Because that one was actually pretty good. So Which one? The Sega. Well, no, so uh, the, there's, there's, there's two sets of T2 games. I didn't know that. One is this weird sort of like... Uh, what are they saying? It's, it's, like, it's the one where, where you look like you're playing as Frankenstein. And you're just like walking through the bar, and you're punching people. No, right? that's the, that's not the one. Uh, okay, yeah, because there's that the, one. I and there's side scroller one. So at least I think it was a side scroller. Well, they had two. They they had that one, and they had the basically that what was called the arcade game, where you point the crosshair and you take that the one. Okay, yeah, yeah that, that one. one was made by Midway and Probe. Got it. Okay, but yeah, I that was the fuck out of that game. So. Well, that one was fun. That one was a lot of fun. That one was fun. The other one... Never played that. <laughs> was a pile of shit. That was the one where... <laughs> like, it had these completely bonkers, like, driving sections. And you're, like, this small on the screen. Mm. And you have to shoot the locks on the on the uh, fences to progress. Oh, jeez. Um, just, just utterly painful. Terrible game. Um, but yeah, one house did that because they're like, okay, we can do this cheap. Yeah, okay. Um, but a few licenses went to good studios. So if you remember games that were good based off of movies, a few other guys handled those, like Sunsoft and things like that. Um, but yeah, uh, Konami would not have <laughs> made Joss ever. <laughs> They would have not sullied their hands. I, I can't like remember that. where I read it. It might have been a video that I saw on YouTube or something that basically broke down like how fucked up that game was because of basically its release schedule timeline. 
Oh, and so the right. studio that did it, apparently they had like a really good game kind of all sketched out. There were a lot of things in the the game that weren't there. Um but then got pasted over by things they could do. So like the whole like bombing the jellyfish thing. That was added like five minutes before it shipped yeah. because they were like, there's not enough game to play. So, yeah. <laughs> it's like, what's already in here that we can do? So, so we can have a plane fly back and forth and drop bombs. <laughs> we can make the jellyfish do patterns. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's, it's so out of. I mean, I understand that you take liberties when you're making games, mm -hmm. right? Um, but there's just this. There's this attitude of that game that just hates wildlife. Oh, yeah, you just murder everything. <laughs> it's worse than Starfield, man. Yeah. yeah. So... I just don't think that was the theme of the movie, oh. was you hate everything that lives underwater. Yeah, because you're collecting conch shells. <laughs> yeah, so... Little shark, fuck it. Fuck it, murder it. <laughs> Baby Jaws, die. <laughs> Daddy Jaws, so I'll be uh -huh. back with that submarine. Stingrays? Dead. Dead. Yeah. Jellyfish dead. Crabs dead. Pickles no, the crabs are what you wanted. Oh, that's right. You the got, crab you is what took you the... No, it took you the bonus stage. That's right. Yeah. 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 You wanted to pick up starfish. That's what it was. Uh -huh. You wanted starfish, starfish and shells. And shells. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I actually own that game. <laughs> so... You I know, that. renting it was enough for me. We, I, I, I asked for it for Christmas, I think. So, um, because, I don't know, I was in the Jaws and stuff. No, no, there was a time when... Alright, so, what people don't understand if they were born before a certain period, and, and, and let's, I mean, if we're talking about, especially like before us, but mm -hmm. us as well, like, there was a time when merch for the things that you liked was rare. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, so if there was the opportunity, it's like, they're making a Jaws video game? It'd be like, fuck yeah. I have to I have, have to have it. Yeah. If you're a fan of that thing, like if they made, I don't know, Critters, I would have to buy that, regardless <laughs> of, of quality. Dude, um, I bought entire PCs because I wanted to play Last Crusade. So There you yeah, go. Yeah. 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 I mean, or Atlantis. I remember I waited years for Atlantis to come out. So, because they worked on that game for a long fucking time. When did so, they? When did they give hints that it was coming out? That, this was early '90s. So when, okay. So when does Last Crusade come out on the PC? '90. So yeah, because okay. the movie's '88, '89, and so it was about a year after the movie came out. It was '89. Yeah, that's to say yeah. that that was a big year for movies. That was your Batman came out. That was right. uh, Last Crusade. There was a, another huge movie that came out there too. I but, saw both those yeah. in the theater. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. You're lucky. Oh, didn't Die Hard came out in 89, I think. I did not see that in the theater. No, but, that one slipped. That one yeah, was, was like word of me. mouth. Yeah. People told me, it's like, you, you, yeah. I know this looks dumb, but you've got to watch yeah. this. No, yeah. no, no. My mom took my brother and I to go see Batman. Um, oh, you yeah. lucky. I wish I'd have seen that in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> my dad liked Indiana Jones, so he took me. There you go. I don't yeah. think, I think that one might have been PG 13. I don't know if my brother could go to that one. Because of melting faces. So Raiders is worse. Raiders is way worse. <laughs> they microwave those faces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like screaming and shit yeah. too, man. <laughs> I got the best scream, man. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine taking your kids on that one. They're like <laughs> that one is a little bit before my time, man. Although I think I was talking to my mom about this not too long. The very first movie I ever saw in the theater was actually E.T. So I think a lot of people our age was that was that was a lot. Yeah, of it was E.T. and my mom said it gave me nightmares for a month. So because I was like five or six, I think. <laughs> That's the question. What? What was it? The, the, the thing that freaked you out was it like when he got sick or Bro, what? I cannot remember. Okay, that is way. You before. just just had a, like that, a that is beyond the curtain yeah. of of knowledge. You know, right. <laughs> active RAM. You know? Well, especially That's I mean, the if cold it, storage. Somewhere. If, if it gave you nightmares, it's something that you were trying to compartmentalize and put away. It's entirely possible. Right? Let alone yeah. uh, trying to you know take the bricks off of that wall. 
Well, yeah, I don't think they come down. So it's just that that that, that thing's structural, no. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm Lumbering. different than you. Yeah. I, I pick at those things. Those are the the the, the things that I want to know about. But yeah, um, I've heard yeah I've heard that from from multiple people. I was like, what is it that that scares you about ET? Because a lot of kids loved it. I, I love it. It's such a huge, I, great movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I watch it right now, and I I couldn't tell you what scared me about it. So there's yeah, it's just I don't know. I, as far as I know, I probably, you know, I'd never been to a theater before. So mm, I do mm. remember going mm. with the neighbor kids down the street and their mom, who's good buddies with my mom, um, to a couple of movies after that. I don't remember that one. So Okay. okay. But, yeah, during the summer, we used to do some of those things. Like, I saw, um, I don't think I saw one, but I think I saw Back to the Future 2 in the theater. So... I wish I had um, two. Yeah, I, 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 I know I didn't see one, but I think I saw two. I know I saw three. In fact, I think I saw that with Kevin. So, because that would have been what, like 90? 80? Yeah, it would have been right around there, man. So, 9, 91, 92. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, it's yeah, somewhere around there. It feels about right. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then, yeah. Like, there were a few others here and there that, that we just didn't get a chance to catch. Like, I have not seen a Star Wars movie in the theater. So. Wait a second. Yeah, I, I presume you're talking about the original. The original yeah. three. So, I mean, I saw all three of them when they re-released them in the late 90s. So, you know, when they did all the, oh, we got rid of the black lines. It looks so much better. You know, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, it does. It does. does. Yeah, it does. So And, like, the, uh, like the light effects, there, there were, like, cool effects like on the engines and things like that there were yeah um and then there was the whole like he's stepping on java stepping tail, on java's was tail like, oh. that was weird and that first like i guess they went in and cleaned it up later but i always have the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the first... little guy <laughs> singing <laughs> oh no no okay, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're talking about when that peanut just comes right up in the <laughs> purple and starts, peanut, yeah. yeah it just shows a throat to you um no the so i was remember... still cartoony <laughs> it's over the top and especially especially when the original scene is actually it's fine i, I like it quite yeah. a bit um no the uh uh that that first scene where they made han step on on yeah. java's tail on mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah i guess i i remember the original blob that they put in there that looked terrible it was awful but I guess they cleaned it up later on, and and, and yeah. so the version that you see now are are much 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 nicer. Yeah, that one was ugly. That one was horrifying. Because when I see it, the, when I've seen the 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 updated versions now, I'm like that is not the mm -mm. abomination that I recall, man. There, there was some bad CGI work. I mean, that, yeah, I mean, think about it at the time. That was like top of the line shit, like fucking crazy? NASA level yeah. computers, you yeah. know, crunching data. You know, in order to render like this dude's tongue. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. So, and now you can just like type that in the chat GPT. <laughs> it's it's, <laughs> it's funny you come up with that. It's like, have you guys heard of a company called Silicon Graphics? Right. It's like, yeah, I did. They're dead now. They're aren't dead. They? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, they were all hype. Oh, that's oh, that's yeah. that's correct. Yeah. Oh. So they made uh, like that Donkey Kong Country. Okay, got it. They they just made pre rendered three D models, and, right? And all you would do is turn those into two D sprites. Into oh, sprites, yeah, clever, oh. smart, smart, smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that shit. Yeah, I, I, and again, when I was there, so I remember there were two things that that people were like yakking about when when I when I saw that. I think it was in 97. I think it was 97 when Star Wars came back to the theater. Something like that. Um, yeah, because the first movie dropped like 99. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I think it was, yeah, summer, Christmas, summer that those movies came out. It was. Um, they, they, yeah, they were six yeah. months apart. And then, yeah. But, yeah, and everybody knew that George Lucas was working on episodes one, two, and three. Well, he said so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's why they, they got those cranked out because he said he was never going to touch them. And then finally, they're like, okay. We're gonna keep drawing zeros on this check, dude. So, <laughs> so until you get back to work, and okay, maybe just draw two more zeros on there. Yeah, maybe maybe three. So you know, <laughs> I don't know all the Disney, but yeah, it's the 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 thing was. I remember when I saw that. I remember there were people yakking about two things, right? Mm -hmm. Things that I didn't even notice. Um, so uh, I will say that that the Java thing got me, 
Right. That one was bad. But people hated that way more than I did. But uh, the Java thing. Yeah. You know, when, when, that, it was that's pretty bad. Yeah. Where they CG'd him in. Um, and I remember like not even noticing at the time. And I just remember in the theater, the guys I were with like, did Greedo just get off a shot? Oh yeah. And I didn't even notice at first because like. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And then they they raced it later, and then they put it back. So it's like they, they changed the timing on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So and it's really small. So yeah, you can just barely. And so it's like, oh, okay. So and they put in this weird like neck move, like he's dodging out of the way of it. Yeah, it was weird, man. <clears throat> it was like, come on, man. It's actually better if Han Solo is just a like just jerk and just smokes yeah, that guy. Just... Yeah, you know. So, but yeah, the same thing. Prepare my Star Destroyer. Oh, the, 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 yeah, the lines. All the lines that they're remaking <laughs> yeah. in there. It was like, come on, man. The first one was great. So you know. Oh yeah, yeah. And they put all those that that all that you know fucking orange background shit in the Cloud City. Oh, and, and, and I was kind of like, yeah, yeah, come on, man. <laughs> you know, it was fine. It, it was, was fine. I mean, I don't hate that. I mean, it's it's just the 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 weird thing about it is is. Like, these are the things that I can't say specifically, but if you look at it, like, it, it's it's like, uh, you remember in the, how, like, in The Naked Gun and those those movies, oh, right? Geez, I haven't seen those in so long. There's always, like, three jokes going on at any one time where there's something going on in the background. Right. And the OJ foreground. OJ building the mega gun? Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> and in, in those Star Wars movies... Like, any shot that was static where you were supposed to focus on one thing now had, like, toads in the background, like, yeah. doing funny things yeah. and, like, Burpee. shit yeah. slipping over and, and, and like, uh, like droids being like, oh, there's too many wrenches in here, I'm gonna drop it, yeah. you know, just, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, just all of this, like, like, I don't know if you, if, you, what would your... Did you have, like, an animation program that you'd play with, like, on your computer? Oh, yeah. I had several of them when I was a kid. I did, too. I had some um, dumb ones. I had some really good ones. So, I had ones with the pad. Oh, okay, You could draw yeah. and save yeah. frames and then just oh, that's move cool. uh, a couple things here and there. I don't know, man. There was a time, like, in the early 90s where I was way into, you know, like, trying to figure out pixel art. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. and I had a couple decent programs. Was the, the one that everybody wanted was Corel Draw, which cost like two hundred fifty fucking dollars back then. I had it. Yeah, something ridiculous like that. Um, I was too stupid to figure it out. Yeah, when I finally got my hands on it later, because they, you know I had a friend who had a cracked copy of it, uh, I was too stupid to figure it out as well. <laughs> the book, so, the manual was this. The manual thing. was humongous. Yeah. 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 So the box was heavy. So you know. Um, but no, I had a couple like animation programs that uh, one of them was just like a stock HP draw program, so hmm. that, where you could animate so many frames. Oh, okay, um, yeah. So yeah. you could basically do flipbooks, you know, but it was limited in how many frames. So well, in those, in a lot of those, right? They would always a lot of them would have these like uh, like stock little animation or like stamps. You know, basically mm -hmm. like that kind of stuff. And to me, that's kind of how those 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 revised Star Wars things goes. Like, all right, so <laughs> if you have a shot, then he's like, okay, so this is like, so okay, so I got room here, so I'm going to stamp that little animation of like uh, normal playing with a ball yarn, and then I'm going to stamp. I had that game. I had that game. I had that. I had the Garfield game. I had that one. Perfect. But you know what I'm talking about. Yep. That's what those those background scenes like yep. all looked like. Yep. I I had that fucking car. I had that for my Commodore sixty four, so I had. Oh, when we were talking about the the, the yeah. Garfield make your own comic strip game, so and it had little animations in it like that. <laughs> so. Yeah, but if you took the movie that you already made and just put all that shit in the background, that's exactly what he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, because here's <laughs> the thing: I just I remember all those things where like there's like a job while riding a dinosaur, and he. The, it rears up and he falls off, right? Oh, and swings off the reins and stuff. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, all kinds of shit yeah. like that going on. So you know, I mean, one place where it made sense was like in the space battle. They added about a thousand Tie Fighters in there, and it was like, okay, that's cool. So you know, but then like some of the other stuff, it was just like, yeah, this this is just noisy scene, man. So that's it. Yeah, yeah. it's really yeah. noisy. So, um, 
Some of it was them just flexing, you know, hey, we can do this now. Well, yeah. It's like, well, let me try this out because I want to do stuff in the new movies. And probably, yeah. yeah, more so than anything else. So it was my understanding, yeah. yeah. He, was, he was trying out a lot of things and raising a little bit of capital for um, yeah, for the next go-around. I'm like, hey, no, that's totally fine. And oddly enough, the more time goes and the more they do things with Star Wars, the more I actually say, like, those one, two, and three weren't so bad. That's bad. Actually, I, I like three very much. So, I like parts of all movies. I like <laughs> more more parts of three, right? Yeah. But I'm starting to, you know, again come around on on number one. Like it's like, you know, one's it's fine. Stuff, yeah, right? yeah. I actually kind of like the idea of the trade federation and stuff. And there's a little bit of politics in that. It's actually kind of cool. Three laps on that drag race is probably a lap too far. Too um, far. Too far, you know. Um, Metachloriates and things like Yeah, we can do without those things, but it's not too bad. It's not. It, it, it's, it, it, you know, part of this was... Uh... What's this button do? Yeah. I don't, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> it's... That that right there, that, that specific thing right there is what I've always hated about Stephen King's writing is... Mm. He has a version of how kids talked, and that was cemented in yeah. 1951. Right. And even yeah, everything though, is stand by me. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's like, I know that motherfucker's got, like, nephews and nieces. And he could yeah, be like, could be, hey, sit yeah. down with me for an hour. Yeah, let's talk. Yeah, right. yeah, Do you know what a dick wipe is? Because all of my kids do. Yeah, exactly. It's like, dad, that's a very 1950s term. I don't have a problem with that term. Right? <laughs> yeah. In fact, I like it, but you have to use it sparingly. Exactly, yeah. So, But there is just, yeah, that is the... the one, yeah. That is what will keep him out of the pantheon of... of great writers because oh, that just, King, he's already up there man so that just that just shows that's that's like you do not give a fuck um two and, things like going for stephen king is number one the volume of shit that he's done and number yeah. two is the originality of his ideas he does get really original ideas sometimes he does he does okay so i'm not gonna fight you on that but what i'm gonna say is like um there's a section out there where like you can t- like he'll admit it. he's like <laughs> this was all because of the cocaine Oh right. yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I've seen Maximum Overdrive. <laughs> well, I'm very movie, familiar with that, the cocaine that, that, days. That yeah. is a movie, man. Dude, what if we had a golf cart put an M60 on it? It'd be great. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> just thinking, like gonna make us pump gas. Okay, that's that's the thing is you you can make that right, mm-hmm. but that also means that you have to give back your Master of Horror title. Mm-hmm. Or you have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Or you gotta like, much like the the Lombardi and Jeff's, you know, uh, adjusted, you know, football season. Mm-hmm. You have to give it to somebody. Yeah, else yeah. You have to win it back. Yeah, right, you have to right. win it back. Yeah. So no, that's true. So <laughs> I don't hate. Look, I'm gonna tell you, I don't hate that move. There's nothing good about it. There's nothing good about that movie, Joe. But there are things that's like, all right, so I like the ACDC soundtrack. I like the... (laughs) I like the utter stupidity of it. The giant goblin head on the front of that truck. It's so unapologetically dumb that... um, It's terrible, man. (laughs) I kind of enjoy it. Um, But there's no way I could say this is a good movie. Not, Not... No. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Uh-uh, and he never went back to directing after that. So, you know. No. No. Like, no. No, this isn't for me. So. I mean, he appeared in a ton of his own movies. He, yeah, he does. So. But that's different. I didn't realize how active he is on Twitter. He's kind of a dick. He's so. an idiot. Yeah. I mean, but, like, it's kind of cool. So sometimes you'll see him reply to some dude who's just like, hey, you know, really like your books. And he'll just reply to that guy. He's like, thanks, man. You know, and it's like. That's cool. You know, <laughs> then he just posted some weird shit. It was like, bro. <laughs> Dude. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's the... Um, there's just, just take it down a notch. Man. I know. He's, he, he and Rob Reiner are in the... I can't. I, 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 had to, I had to unfollow that motherfucker. I cannot do it. So... it's it's He's, he's like a cartoon. your shit up, man. Yeah. So, he's yeah. like a cartoon. He's, he he is a cartoon. So, yeah, yeah I, had to, I, had to, I had to block his ass. Uh, well, I didn't block him. I just don't follow. Well, that's him that. That'd be funnier. Yeah. It's just like <laughs> I like to think that Rob Reiner's like the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Yeah. 
<laughs> I, I gotta be blunt, man. There's like this last week has been a slaughter for me. I have I have I have stopped following a bunch of people. I can't do it anymore. I just I cannot do it. <laughs> So once that there you see that thing going around yesterday, the box that does with the, all the arrows with colonialism and capitalism and shit. Oh God, no! So, well, fuck, where did this come it, from? It, what did I miss? You're gonna find it. It's, it's gonna make your way in your shit somehow. So and I was like, okay, I, yeah, you, you are obviously not serious. So we're we're done here, buddy. So wait, where were they posting this thing? Like mm-hmm. like. This is this is truth. Look at this. Yeah, and... yeah. This is basically why we're protesting for for the Palestinians, and it's like, oh my god, oh, you know. And it's just got everything oh, on there about oh, like oh. male supremacy and white supremacy and capitalism and exploitative labor, and it's got all these arrows that make no fucking sense. So, and I saw like two or three people that I used to take fairly seriously. So you're like, yeah, this is actually pretty accurate. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, man. We're done. So, well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm taking your Lombardi. You're gonna have to come get it back. Okay. <laughs> you remember, right? I'm gonna, gonna have to earn it back. I start the first four games of the season with this. You're right. Yeah. You can't challenge me for game four. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's, and I understand that people can be good or valuable at different things and then have views that are very different yeah right and that's totally fine uh but there are some things that are just a tell right it's just oh yeah i don't want to i don't want to ride these people too hard but i mean so my my whole thing yesterday so i guess there were were two things so i didn't see that the thing that I got caught up on was the actual release of the January 6th tapes. All of them. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw some of that. We're going to have to see, like, what actually comes out of that. Man, there's, there's, there's like 44,000 hours worth of footage. Yeah. And the stuff that people have found already. There's a lot of footage, man. Insane. Well, I mean, I guess, but I've seen like five different takes on the same thing yesterday. So, I don't know, man. we got to let that one simmer for a little while. No, they got work to do, right? Yeah, because... absolutely. they got work to do because I can tell you some people are cherry-picking both sides of that fence there. So, you know, and it's just kind of like, all right. Um, why don't one of you guys put together a greatest of? <laughs> <laughs> somebody that you trust? <clears throat> yeah, somebody I trust. Um, you know. Because there was, a, there was a lot of bad flashing. There was a lot of, like, this is clearly not what was presented there's that guy that actually shows his badge to the camera that is fully decked out in in maga ninja gear and, i didn't see that one um and of course the to me the one that is most problematic is when they start spraying into the crowd that had not become violent i did see that one that is the biggest problem yeah. is like okay so you are stirring this up well, the cops doing that, or like, who told them to do that? That's the question. Yeah, we but the the, here's the thing: is is if you're doing that to a mob that is not stirred up, mm-hmm. that's pretty problematic. Yeah, I, I mean, but then again, it's like as pointed out before, it's a big fucking building. Different things are happening in different spots, man. So yeah, and yeah. it's all out there now. It's all so out there. I got. I have to give. Uh, uh, John Mikeson. John uh, so. I like John Mikeson, man. <laughs> so. I have to give him his credit. He said, like, all right, I'm going to release this. And then they're like, when? He's like, now. Yeah. Button buttons. Like, it's yeah. out there. It's out. Um, yeah. Um, well, it'll be interesting to see if that rolls back any of the trials or anything. So, um, I don't know, though, man. I don't know if they're actually, like, denied that much access to that or who was using it and what. So, there's just too many of them going on. Um, it does show, kind of follow like some so. of the things that it does show is it does show like like it does show false testimony by the officers. It does show okay. that um, well, there's a good appeal right there for somebody. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know where where guys are talking about like this happened and I sustained these injuries and that kind of stuff. It's like no, you didn't. It's right here. No, no, you didn't. Oh yeah, yeah we'll, it's, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> I mean, so that was the big thing, and and the 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 problem I had with that the other day was, um, regardless of of where you stand on it, whether you call this you know a big thing or not, is to what end were you like, 
why did the government think that uh, they should be the ones that have exclusive access to see this, right? That's a good question for Mike McCarthy. So someone should ask him that. Well, this is this is a this is all about the, uh, uh, yeah, the, the committee, right? Um, yeah, but I mean, he's been in charge for the last nine months. Why didn't he release them? So that's a good question. That's yes. a very good question. So, Especially when he said he would, but they didn't come out. Right. Um, but that's the that's the other piece is is okay. So why were these people in charge of this um, and decided that they wouldn't release it? And number two is well, I mean, if Mike Johnson can do it, we already know the answer to that. It's the Speaker of the House. Exactly. Yeah. And right. so that's Mike McCarthy. But that's, that's <laughs> yeah, the why problem, you do that, is, bro. Why yeah. were you sitting on? Yeah. This? No, that's a good. What question. is it that you're trying to do? And and that's someone the thing. should try and tack him down on that. Is so. both parts of this should be. Uh, you should have questions about your government right now, right? In terms of this was yes, they released certain parts. It was cherry picked, right? Regardless of how yeah. you slice it, by not <laughs> allowing the media or people full access to it. This should be something that makes you upset and say, your government shouldn't be sitting on this and telling you what to think about this, mm -hmm. right? So that's where I had some some grief where people were like, I can't believe this is all coming out. I'm like, no, fuck you. This, no, that's fine. Wherever you stand on this, this should be coming out to the surface. It, yeah, man, if you're going to feel about it one way or another, you shouldn't be afraid of more evidence. So, I agree. You know, and so, like, yeah, I'm, I will... I will still stand right by if you take a, a fucking k-rail and throw it through a window there you need to go to jail so absolutely yes <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, the, the but if the cops let you in on the other side all right and you know you you don't like you know fucking try and steal nancy pelosi's laptop okay you probably should not go to jail well and that's uh, <laughs> you know and, and the fact that if you got forty four thousand hours of videos video footage you should be able to sort out who's who on this one now <laughs> well and to to also be able to say like you guys should not have been tacking on the terrorism riders on this. No, that's that's prosecutorial. That's absurd. Yeah, but that's like every... So what's weird about it is there's not like a D.C. prosecutor. It's everybody's state, you know? So like Colorado guys get prosecuted in Colorado. So you get fucking guys who are overzealous prosecutors and stuff like that. It's like, oh, yeah, we can tack on terrorism charge trying to get this guy to crack, blah, blah, blah. That's that's a bug. That's that's a feature, not a bug, unfortunately. So they they really should. And that I mean, so like technically, we're still in emergency state since nine eleven. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This, this is this is that downright Roman. This is you know in, in it's terms not of that bad. I mean, we don't have bottles and chains just quite yet. And I mean, at least Rome does have a police force here, <laughs> so that's a good thing. <laughs> So you're not going out and hiring a private fucking army so that you can roll right up on the Senate and burn it down, man. <laughs> so that's we not good. Here, yeah, we, we live normal. We we live. We. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee. Look, I'm going to tell you right now. If I was, if I were living in a place right now that had um, Palestinian sympathizers roaming the streets right now, I would not feel distinguished enough to say like this is not a intimidation. Yeah, I mean, they, I I don't think I'd buy it, so you're not well, intimidating me, so I don't know. Um, well, no, but I mean, you know, that being said, like, look at the places where they're gathering, you know, places with a lot of Jews, so I mean, this is like, mm -hmm. you know, but what I say is that they're not like that strong here in the United States, so, you know. Who, the Jews? No, the Palestinian supporters. So they're getting routinely shouted down, you know, places that they're trying to organize. You see the one that they did on the Oakland Bay Bridge the other day? Oh, the one where they actually delayed fucking, like, organ yeah. transplants? So, yeah, yeah. People you. were like, yeah, we're going to get out of your cars. We're going to heave you into the fucking bay. So <laughs> Dude, you know, when I was younger, if you'd so... have caught me on a certain morning, <laughs> like, I would have... I had enough people around me that were, like... Well, they can't hang all of us. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, what, what, we're all in it together. We just got to make sure we get every last one of them, you know. <laughs> so, so each one of you guys pick one out and tackle it. <laughs> okay, pretty much like. So here's what I'm gonna do. All right, and here's what you guys should do. All right, so uh, pull your shirts up over your faces like cornholio, and we're <laughs> hold your arms like this, <laughs> and. Uh, 
if we all look retarded, it's going to be really hard for them to track us down on a <laughs> on an RF coax. <laughs> right, yeah. Remember, this bridge was built during World War II. Yeah. CCTV camera, okay? Yeah. No, I mean, like, some of the ones that I've seen here and there, they're, they're really small. They get shouted down in a lot of places, especially New York. New York's not having it. So, um... Well, they're having scuffles. That You don't do that in New York and get away with it forever. So, you know, it's I mean... It's D.C. where it's really... D.C. is its own animal, but, you know, like, it... If you protest in downtown D.C., who gives a fuck? All right? So, because quite honestly, okay, is it going to make your nightly news? No. <laughs> is it going to make nightly news of a district that's voting? No. So, I mean, it, it doesn't matter, man. It's not like putting 100,000 people on fucking London Bridge and blocking traffic. So, oh you know. If, if, uh, I wouldn't even know what to say. If I was, if I were, were. One of those last, like, World War II survivors. Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs> Let alone you're a Holocaust survivor. Oh, dude. I, 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 yeah, do yeah, it. yeah. Yeah, I couldn't even do yeah. it right now. So, I don't know, man. I, I think that, like, the, the... the And then there's still stuff coming out every single day about the attacks on October 7th. You know, like, it's just absolutely horrifying. Some of the things that have come out just the last three days. On some that of is stuff. correct. Yeah, and it's just like, wait a minute, you can break a pelvis like that? That's disgusting. So, you know. What did you see? I don't want to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You know, and then there was other things Jesus. on there about like, you know, just, just the amount of wailing and gnashing of teeth that's going on about these hospitals right now. So, which the Israelis kind of made a beeline for. And then I guarantee you anybody who's actually in those hospitals is probably getting taken care of right now. <laughs> So, uh, which is horror which is just it's it is it is such a it, it the, the narrative what one side is so far over its skis on this one that it, it has no sense of balance whatsoever and so you know i mean it and i've seen a couple people that i respect go completely down this path like glenn greenwald's gone down that path but he actually talked about it the other day he's like hey this is what i believe and so if you don't want to follow me after this that's fine i've done this many times so you know, and he's like, I'm an apologetic, unapologetic, you know, opponent of American foreign policy, and this is actually an extension of that. So it's like, all right, fine, dude, but yeah, you're right. I don't have to follow you anymore. So sorry, brother. At least not for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's not for like, a while. As long as you're talking about this, I mean. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, you know, if you want to talk about, like, I don't know, um, Julian Assange or something, like, sure, maybe I'll listen to you. But mm -hmm. um, if you're going to sit here and talk about, you know, Israel, Palestine, and you know, this this entire shit show that, you know, you guys are trying to be you, you just can't do it. You can't cannot be on on a stand on moral ground on this one. It's it's all about consistency in terms of protecting my team more so than anything else. So that that's all it is, man. There's no principle there. It's just like, oh yeah, you know, Jews white bad. So you yeah. know yeah, you, you touched on something, you know, a little bit problematic with this, where it's like, all right, so, okay, so I've got two issues going on here. If you don't like capitalism, I know what side you're on. <laughs> I can autofill that. Well, okay, uh, that, that, mm -hmm. you would, it, uh, let me put it this way, you would have to come up with something so unique at this point to come at me at an angle that would make me question what you're arguing, right? Yeah. Because if you're going to come at me with, with the same old shit that everybody has, um, then you got nothing. And we don't have much to talk no, about. No, we don't. Right? Yeah, we're not going to see eye to eye. Because the, the, the unfortunate thing is you have to turn around and say, like, yes, but all this. So right. um, in order for that to work, you have to look past all of this evidence that I'm going yeah. to show you. And from the, you know, the look in your eye, it looks like you're willfully going to look past all of that. Yeah. So yeah, you 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 you, so they're 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 using this very instrumentally. So you know, as a way to get to something else, and so that allows you. It's all rent control, dude. You know it's that. all rent control, but it's also at the same point in time that allows you to ignore mass rape, sticking babies in microwaves and shit like that. Yeah, that's like yeah, yeah, and it's like uh, okay, all right, man. You know, like wait, wait a minute, stop, stop. Let's talk about this a little bit, okay? Because you know. The guys who did this obviously could give two fucks about anybody who lives in Palestine. That's why they're all bolted. 
they all left. So, you know, that's why, you know, you don't see like, oh, Israeli, is the IDF captured 15 more terrorists today. No, they left. <laughs> <laughs> that's why part of the problem is where are these hostages i don't know you would yeah. think they would find this in this little area what i do see that you're gonna they... find them in cutters where they're gonna find them. oh god man <laughs> <laughs> i mean this is this is the 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 thing is like you have to go through some incredible lengths to justify this and people are doing it they are they're, yeah did, did you see the shit where people were uh where it's spread on TikTok, basically, that... Uh, oh, the Osama Bin Laden thing? What the fuck, I know, man. man. I, I saw that, and I was like, oh, my God. I did, Somebody has truly jumped the shark now. So, and I mean, because I... So, I do watch quite a few YouTube shorts, and they get bled over from TikTok. <laughs> and I watch a lot of guys who do military TikToks. And just about every last one, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what else you fucking <laughs> say about this? Please. <laughs> So, <laughs> again, I, I don't know how you can have any other perspective. The, the, there's no version of this where you say, like, yeah, but he's got a point. No, 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 no. I was it, like, no, he doesn't. No, and I mean, so, to be fair, I mean, everybody said it was blowing up all over TikTok. I saw, like, five or six people, you know, who were, you know, younger influencers who were, you know, talking about Osama. But then I'd see the same one over and over again. So well, some of them became pretty popular because I guess they were. That's exactly. A big yeah, deal. they were a big deal. So, but you know, like I can tell you, I could go to my students anytime and say, well, "How do you guys feel about Osama bin Laden?" They will unanimously say that guy was an asshole, and we're glad he's dead. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So I don't know where some of these guys are coming from, and I've learned, you know, if it comes from a Chinese-controlled app, uh, man, you gotta be real fucking careful about that shit. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you know. of course. No, this was this was the 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 fucking you know nonsense that came out. So you know that same that same cabal of jackasses you know yesterday that were like well, we're not gonna advertise on X anymore. Like, yeah, well you you're sitting there with Xi Jinping right now. Oh yeah, if you you, you and the same are are working mm -hmm. with this. Yeah. So okay, this was I had a. a this this was a while ago, but I had a student ask me about like, um, just she she asked me, uh, not because I said anything, but because I made a face every time the word Apple came up. Yeah. And she's like, "What is your problem?" You know, it's it's like, "What is this?" Like, okay, so here's my issue, um, and it is one specific incident. You're gonna remember this was the San Diego incident where. Uh, oh yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Where and for those that don't remember, the San Diego incident was when the police asked Apple to decrypt mm -hmm. their phone information because of the guy that shot like eighteen fucking people, mm -hmm. right? And they wouldn't do it. They yep. was like, well, "We're uh, we believe in privacy above all things," mm -hmm. right? But they do business in China. Yeah, they do. And you don't For get now. to keep secrets in China. No, you don't. So everything that came into, like, we are are proud of our privacy, blah, 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 blah. Well, that doesn't matter as soon as we cross the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm sure there's some things that are firewall me. between here and there, but the hypocrisy is plain for all to see. So No, they don't get the firewall shit. You don't get to do business no, in China. I understand that. You... I don't think China can access American information. So, oh no, yeah. no, 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 absolutely not. That, but, that would uh, be that, for me. That would be the bridge that's definitely too far. <laughs> at that point, it's like, we we have to destroy this building. Yeah, no. I actually found out my <laughs> you, video. You are actual traders. <laughs> so I had to scrub that shit off my computer. So of what? My video editing software that I was using was actually owned by the CCP. And I discovered that. You're kidding? No, me. just fucking didn't know. So. Um, had to do a little research to find that out, and so got rid of that. So, but, um, yeah, no, the hypocrisy in part of Apple is, is pretty plummeting. I just don't like their products, so personally. Uh -huh. I don't like the interface. It just doesn't, it, it, like, my mom had an iPhone for years, so, and every time she gave it to me, I was like, I don't know what to do <laughs> with this. I don't know how this thing works. It's not as intuitive as people think it is. So, you know, so for me, it was just always a personal preference, so... Well, I, I mean, that's the thing, is, is uh, you know, I've had a problem with... Again, this isn't necessarily them, it's, it's just like, alright, so you've collected things that everybody else has mm -hmm. done. Yep. People somehow give you credit for inventing it, which is absurd. Yeah. Um, you've repackaged it, and not dissuaded anybody from believing that yeah. you invented this shit. Yeah. And you were also charging more. A lot more. With worse hardware. Yeah. 
and somehow there's this cult around you because you manage to keep people in your shitty ecosystem. Which, again, mm. I don't know how you get the free pass on this where it's like, people who have had slightly closed ecosystems and other things, right, didn't get the free pass to be like, yeah, but this is protected. No, 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 no. This is, you, you can't change phones, you can't change this because the 10,000 songs that you've purchased will not transfer anywhere else. Yeah. How the fuck do they get away with that? It's just business. So, you know, I mean, if unless you're going to get in there and regulate capitalism, which I don't really want you to do. So, well, then it, look, that's what that's what they beat Microsoft over. That, that's that's yes. if if you're going to say like, okay, you <laughs> you have to bust this up, then play by the yeah, rules. Yeah, but Apple wasn't that. Don't give them... Microsoft's the last time the government's actually done that. So, well, it's been a long fucking time since they actually went... They, since since anybody in the FTC actually went real hard against a monopoly like that. So... Well, it, it, Apple and, and Google are both in the courts right now. And you know what? Yeah. It's funny, it's not the FTC that has to do that. Um, most of the time, it's Europe. And it, it yeah, transfers yeah. over. Right. Well, they make the case over there, and then we copy paste it over here. Yeah. So yeah, no, yeah. that makes sense, and they have more stringent laws about that anyway. Yeah, they do. Uh, they do, uh, which makes it hard to do business in a lot of those countries using American models. So, hey, look, man, you know, Apple will get there someday, or they'll clean their shit up. So you know, like really, when it comes down to it, uh, they don't have much of a future in China. So or India, or, actually, yeah, probably not in India. You know, no, because India, India is like China; they have that that. They already have that like weird infrastructure app that oh that like they, WeChat yeah, yeah. It's, they have one of, of their own where it's yeah. like everybody gets paid off of that here too so it's like uh, well sure we could do this on a phone that costs seven hundred dollars more or they're not gonna do that in India India mm-hmm. doesn't have the money for it no no and then I mean the same thing's true in China man I mean. <laughs> most people in China do not own an iPhone. <laughs> so, no. Not even no. close, yeah. No. They're way too expensive. It's a status symbol more than anything else. Like an American piece of hardware here. Ha, ha, ha. It's just like having an American car, you know? So... Yeah, but why would you buy that when you can buy a car there that has been duplicated part for part? Because it's with, a thing, man. I mean, I if you can actually afford the import taxes on a Tesla or, God forbid, get a fucking Cadillac or something, man, then, okay... So, you, you know, you're obviously someone who has some pull. So, I don't know, man. That whole summit this week was actually kind of interesting. So, what did you draw from that? Because I didn't follow it enough. I, I just saw the. Xi Jinping was being cool. So, he was being chill. I told you, man. Yeah, he was being <laughs> chill, man. So, you know, and he wants to do business and things like that and yada, yada, yada. And he and Joe Biden seem to get along just fine. So, it was like, okay. I mean, there was, you know, some people who tried to, like, oh, my God, he called him a dictator. And he's like, well, yeah, he is. <laughs> I mean, you know. So I don't think he would argue with that. <laughs> so I was like, now you guys are just nitpicking here, man. So, but I mean, yeah, you're right. take a win as a win. So come yeah. on, man. You know, uh, so hopefully things will be a little bit more chill for a little bit. But we'll see. He might not be sincere about it, too. So don't know. Um, it could be. I mean, this so is... Yeah, the China watchers that I do keep an eye on, they were kind of mixed opinions on it. So they were like, this is a, actually a really big test to see if Xi Jinping is actually in control of his country. And so, oh, And they were like, oh. okay, so the guy was able to do a 180 on fucking COVID overnight. So, What did he do? He, remember the lockdowns? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, no lockdowns. Oh, oh, oh. And then a million oh, fucking people oh. died. So, And guess what? He's still in power. <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> so they're kind of like, well, well, we're going to have to see if everybody, if all his minions start lining up, if they stop talking shit about America and foreign policy oh, and if all this, right, right. you know, bullshit where they're what shooting the wolf fish warriors and the wolf and warriors yeah. and, you know, like buzzing, you know, Canadian planes in the fucking Taiwan Strait and shit. He says, if that style starts to go away, then we know he actually is in charge and he's in control of his faculties. You know, so because some of the guys that I watch, you're like, hey, man, he's got this Hitlerian model where, you know, it's it's what do you do to police the you work towards the Fuhrer, you know, and so you do the, like the balloon thing. He didn't even fucking know about that until it was over. So they only found that out last fall. He did not even know about it. Is that true? That's the, Yeah. He's like, what the fuck is this? And then, of course, the guy got fired. <laughs> yeah. He didn't even know about it until it was over. So, you know. <laughs> all right, that, that actually got into this. Maybe like, 
<laughs> what did you do? <laughs> yeah. Idiots. <laughs> so, you know, we'll see, man. So, but then, yeah, I mean, the funniest part was of Gavin Newsom getting skewered by people, you know? So If anybody's deserved it more. I, I mean, that that greasy motherfucker, that... that uh, Have you seen the Jeff Bezos and his girlfriend picture with him? And the, I saw one with Gavin Newsom hugging, hugging on uh, Xi Jinping. Yeah. Like, that one was so fucking good. It was like the best <laughs> meme of the week. <laughs> Yeah, that grease. That dude's a grease ball. He's not going to get anywhere either, man. You think people see through him? I don't know. It's people uh, totally see through him, man. So if if Joe Biden trips and falls on the stairs tomorrow, he's absolutely going after the nomination. We know that. Okay, yeah. so um, he won't. He'll win a state because he probably lives in a little fucking back vacuum bubble too, where everybody thinks he's awesome. This whole thing with the I ten. So, you know, the, the, did you see that? What's this? So the, the huge freeway that connects downtown San, or Los Angeles to Santa Monica had like a five-block fire because of all this bullshit trash that had built up underneath it. What? It burned down the interstate. <laughs> like it got hot enough to melt the road? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and so now Los Angeles is fucked for months. So, because that's like your major artery. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so he was down there. He's like, yeah, we don't know how long it's going to take to fix and stuff, but we're good on blah, blah, blah. He's not realizing that everybody's like, it's going to take me five hours to get to work now. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't even think they'll vote for that motherfucker now. <laughs> you know? so. so the correct answer is Cruz will be out there. Day and night, I will right. keep you updated. Oh, yeah. And we will finish this as quick as we can. That's possible. not what he said. Yeah, he's like, well, the engineers are working on it, and we're going to have to go with what they're saying, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it was just kind of like, and I mean, the mayor of Los Angeles, that lady, is right next to him, and she's just like, oh, my God, I'm going to lose. <laughs> you know? Why did I hitch my start of this wagon? Why did I hitch my start of this yeah. wagon? Yeah. yeah. So it was funny yeah. press conference. So. Yeah, so that was the only other big news that came out of that, man. But we'll just have to see. The Chinese might be chill for a little bit. So maybe. I mean, that'd be great. I would man. argue it's in their best interest. I would argue I, it's, I think, it's I, yeah. As a matter of fact, I would argue it's in our best interest totally. to do the same and turn around and say, like, you know, the name of the game is de escalation. Yeah. What can we do to help put out fires for you today? Like ask people. Like, mm -hmm. like, how are you doing right now? Is there anything I could do to make yep. the workplace better for you? Right, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do they call it? It's like yeah, the, the you workplace... you put something in the suggestion box? I'll go check that out. The, 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 yeah. the, the health survey? What do they call it? The workplace right, yeah, health yeah, survey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Job stress. So Yeah, yeah. And, you know, they, they might, they might not. Um, I think, like, the thing that I thought was really positive out of it was they said they're going to start doing these high-level military talks again. And so the U.S. military has done this forever. So we've always done it with the Soviets during the Cold oh, War. Oh, yeah, yeah, where yeah. they could call each other and say, hey, guys, we're doing this this weekend. Right. Be cool. Okay? Yeah. So yeah. Or the Soviets would be like, hey, we're sending bears over Alaska this weekend. Be cool. They're not – we're just training them. Okay? So you guys right. can watch it. Yeah, exactly. And then they would, they would you know – and so apparently, like during Wolf Warrior and COVID, the Chinese just stopped answering the phone. So you know, uh, because I don't know. <laughs> so, but like you know, I do watch a lot of naval shit, and this has been a big thing the last like two, three years. They're like, yeah, we don't even know who to fucking call. So you know, that actually makes sense too with the number of times that India and China. Have oh, man. both lined up on that spot and shot at each other, or they'll go out there with sticks. Have you seen that? Oh, I haven't seen this. Oh God, yeah, they'll they'll be like, all right, we're gonna fight today. Leave your guns, bring your bats. So and they'll go beat the shit out of each other. So over this tiny, tiny like piece of it's it's like a football field of land, you know. And they do this shit all the time. So so I'm saying is crazy. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely not so. Well, is this all out of the? What did you call it? You, you uh, when you when you at one point you referred to Sun Tzu's book as like oh the book of dirty tricks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's all it is, man. <laughs> sneaky bullshit. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a book of sneaky bullshit. No, it reminds me. It reminds me of the shit they used to get at like the book fair. That would be like <laughs> um, 110 ways to prank your dad. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You know, yeah. or or you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 
Yeah, the joke books. So, yeah. I don't know, man. Hopefully they'll chill out a little bit. I think, you know, so the Ukraine thing looks like it's it's winding down a little bit. Um, you know, I think uh, your, your administration's actually called that guy a few times and said, hey, buddy. So, you know, it's, it's you know, you, you ain't going to win. They ain't going to win. This, I mean, what, what are we doing here now? So you, you're not going to make it to Moscow. They're not going to make it to Kiev. What, okay. Right. Yeah, let's talk. So... Do you want to do this for 20 more years? Mm -hmm. Accomplish fucking nothing? Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, and the Europeans have been sitting on him, too, a little bit. So, because he oh, goes back and cries over to France and stuff. They're like, fuck off, man. We send you a lot of shit. So, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. So, and uh, the Germans, Germans sent him just $10 billion just two weeks ago. And they're like, yeah. So, I mean, they sent their tanks back, too. <laughs> Did they? The Ukrainians sent the tanks back to the Germans. So they had like ten or fifteen leopard twos that they were like, you know what? They're just death traps. We can't we can't use tanks anymore. So it's like they're useless. There's just great ways to get people killed now. So it's such a change. It's, totally different. It's, uh, you you look at this in hindsight and say like, why do we have so many of these? Yeah. Now that being said, I will say that there is something a little bit different about the Abrams. Uh, yeah. They're pretty neat. They're very cool. They're also exceptionally expensive. Yes. Yeah. To uh, just, especially to operate and repair. Mm -hmm. Those things need maintenance like crazy. A lot, yeah. Understand. Well, they got a jet engine in it, man. And so, yeah. Although, like, okay, so let me nerd out on tank tech here. For Please. So the entire engine compartment lifts out of that bitch, and it's like modular. So they can just drop an entire new engine in it and button it up, and off it goes. So, and then go figure out what's wrong with the engine later. It's, it's kind of cool. That's brilliant. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, that doesn't mean it's free. <laughs> no, it's not free. <laughs> it's a jet engine. <laughs> Is it heavy? Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> and it's expensive. Yeah. Put it down. Put it yeah, down, yeah. yeah. Um, so, I, I don't know. I'm just not seeing uh, maybe... What Am I wrong here? Has warfare changed? Is that just it's not... totally changed. It's... it's, it's it's drones, artillery, and missiles now. That's what they need. So, that's the rock, paper, scissors now? That's the rock, paper, yeah. It's drones, artillery, missiles. You need drones to see the dudes. So you need artillery to kill the dudes. You need the dudes to hold the ground. So that's it. It's Yeah, it's it's completely different now. Air Force is useless if the other side has a, a defense missiles. Useless. So like, like the entire USAF is looking at like the F-22. We don't need this thing anymore. So oh. it's never going to get a combat kill. Oh, you mean uh, air superiority? It's not how it works anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they're already rigging out, like, fucking old-school Vietnam-era C-130s with hundreds of little drones that shoot out of it and fucking just mob. It's crazy, man. <laughs> it's going to be more cost-effective. I mean, yeah. So, well, and that's, like, the Navy's doing this, all this stuff with, like, remote-controlled submarines now because they can't get enough sailors. And so they were like, wait a minute, we can build, like... <clears throat> A five billion dollar nuclear powered guided missile submarine, all right, and operate it for 30 years with a crew of 80 guys on it. Okay, so that's a pretty cool platform, but if we lose that, that's a lot. So, or right. we can make these really cool little mini subs that can be controlled by this sub. <laughs> right, right. Uh Right. So on the same thing, like they parked that one, they've got four of their old boomer boats that used to carry Trident, uh, well, not Trident. Oh, no, it is a Trident nuclear missile. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. They took yeah. all the nuclear missiles out of them and put 120 fucking tomahawks in the thing. So it basically is just a death machine. And they parked that thing outside of Gaza. <laughs> well, okay, because this is, this is, the, 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 this is the, the, the fun part is... There's there's another great reason for that is and they they had the roll out of this is you don't have to have that because the B twenty one will handle it absolutely yeah you don't need air superiority you don't need anything like that it's just like well this is way high up oh yeah it's gonna fly over Canada and nuke you from the North Pole <laughs> yeah exactly they're crazy. so yeah it's it's uh, and they only need twenty of them isn't that crazy? they're only building twenty of them. <laughs> So. Which is probably ten more than they need. Well, that's all the spares included. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, because like I understand, like it's machinery, so you're over there like, 
we have 20 of these we need all 20 and you know the other guy's sitting over there like he can't get it to turn over Got any cables? Ah, <laughs> uh, spray it, man. Spray it, yeah. Spray it. Yeah, you know, it's just, you know. Pump the gas. Ah, <laughs> oh, you flooded it. We're going to have to wait now. Yeah, we're going to have to wait. Yeah, have to uh, wait. God, yeah. God. <laughs> Fucking amateurs. So. Yeah, because I was looking at like, what does the B-21 do that's so special? It's like, well, this plus nuke, right? Oh, man, that thing's scary. Yeah, it's terrifying. It's... It, <clears throat> Like you said, it's like, well, you used to have to put these missiles on the submarines, right? Mm-hmm. Why? Now now it's as... Oh, the nuclear it, missiles? Yeah, I mean... So yeah, the whole point behind that, that but... Yeah. No, there's a point behind that. So they're there in case America gets nuked. Well, yes. 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 So if Ohio gets nuked, bye-bye B-21s. Yeah. Okay, so, but um, if you have eight boomer boats out there that each carry more nuclear missiles than our entire land-based system does, yeah. each one of them does... Um, okay, blow up America, you're going to have a bad day tomorrow. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. So I think the Chinese are smart enough to figure that out. So, you know. No, the the, the mutually assured destruction thing mm-hmm. has been a... It works. It's shockingly effective for keeping wars kind of low-key. So, you know. Yes. It's really good at that. So, yeah. I mean, imagine if, if Ukraine had kept its nukes. This wouldn't happen. Fuck the whole NATO expansion things, stuff like that. Fuck it. None of it would have happened. You know, you know, Putin would be like, okay, that one's lost. Let's go beat up on somebody else. So, you know, so because you're not going to fight that. Imagine if Taiwan had a nuke. So, which they could probably. That, I was going to say, I don't know that they don't. I don't know that they don't either, man. So, you know, but I mean, they signed the treaty that says they don't, but that doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, it's paper. That's, that's paper. That's, uh, you know, in the, in the face of, uh, uh, Real life scenarios, there's certainly a possibility that they're like, yeah, but if push comes to shove and they're doing this, we would like to be able to say like, all right, so you're pushing some ground on us here, but we've got a secret. Yeah, we should let you in on this. And what is that? It's like, so how many people live in Beijing? Roughly. Yeah, roughly. Roughly. (laughs) Pick one city you don't want. Yeah, so... No, I mean, well, the same thing's true with Japan. So, yeah. you know, Japan could whip up nukes over the weekend if it really wanted to. So, God, I watched something so depressing. <laughs> the uh, and, and I'll I'll finish off with this. You know, since we're talking about the Asian theater, um, I watched this this uh, short documentary. It was like forty five minutes about uh, what it's like to live in Seoul. Oh, neat. I uh, it was anything but the really? yeah. Here was the thing was the, the like night city now. <laughs> it's well no because the people are humans there. They're not you know fucking <laughs> lunatics you know. But uh, the the thing that was tough about it was all right. It broke my heart because there's a lot of people that say that this is where all things should be going geographically, right? Because what they said was, all right, so 20% of all Korea's population lives there. Right? Oh, really? I thought it was higher than that. So, you know, it, it wouldn't surprise me. Lot, it, but, the, yeah. the other thing, I don't know if that also means, like, you know, when you count the official population of, of this city, do you count all the outlying stuff? So okay. I, I, I don't yeah. know. Um, but so 20% of people lived in that area. And this is the thing that people are harping on. It's like, no, actually... Um, this thing out here in the middle of the country, that's all just property. All the people need to move into the cities because that makes it easier for everyone, right? And the thing that I'm seeing about this, and this is a highly modern city, right? Um, it's, a, it's a city that's in uh, at fairly good health, right? Yeah. But the living conditions of what... This is what broke my heart is they're... they're they were just stopping people for interviews as they were, like, waiting for buses and shit, right? Okay. Or this was uh, an Asian boss, was it? No, oh, okay. no. Or they would see somebody, and they'd follow them around, and they, they, they're like, oh, "You're a delivery driver. Can we talk to you?" Right? And uh, the thing was, they talked to so many people that if you went by just their job title, right, you'd think they're doing okay. Yeah. Right. But then they're showing like, yes, but I live with five other people yeah right yep um are you gonna get married i can't 
right? Yeah. Do you want to? I'd like to, yeah, but I can't, yeah, right? And they're going through this, and that was the thing that that was the the, the how much these people were working and everything just for these spots. Mm -hmm. The people, not just the 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 thing about it was, I was looking for the people. Where it's like, well, do you work or are you just at work, right? Um, <laughs> and so what they were spending time with was like. Uh, like people that were cooking, dudes that should be like raking it in, mm -hmm. right? And uh, even that was just like miserable because I'm like, well, these people, they don't have their own restaurants. They have like, they rent out. Yeah. Like, I, I, you've seen this where it's... it's <laughs> they rent out a booth. Yeah. Well, it's not booths, right? So what they'll do is like a dude, uh, an owner will have like a downstairs area where it mm. is like six kitchens. Oh, okay. Right. And so instead of like KFC building the place, you rent that that spot. You go in there and you're just basically doing like takeout orders and stuff. Yeah. Right? You get soaked by your landlord. It wasn't their landlord. It was that um everybody that could take money out of it, like in terms of like whatever their version of like DoorDash and what all this other stuff was, right? You pay them. What do, what do you mean? You pay DoorDash? Yeah, you pay their delivery companies in there for basically taking you and putting you on their map. Oh, I see. Right? Oh, that's kind of fucked up. That's what I was saying. Yeah. So the, the people there that was like, so are these people actually working or are they pretending where these people are fucking working? Yeah, they're working. Right? Well, yeah, a lot of them do work their ass off, man. You're talking about... South Korea and the United States are always neck and neck in terms of productivity. Yeah. So, you know, we just, like, here you don't need to have an 80-hour work week in order to be able to do that. You yeah. know, so. And that was the thing that was so, like, that was the part that made me feel, like, claustrophobic and shitty. It was, like, every asshole out there, every rent control asshole out there is, like, mm -hmm. the problems come from the fact that we don't all live in mega cities. It's, like. This is a mega city. It's a mega city. Yeah, and it's full of miserable people. Yeah. And this is so depressing. Right. Yeah. So why don't you let me build my fucking nice suburban neighborhoods? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, you know, because it's not about like, you know, concentration of services and, you know, delivering efficiency in the forms of rent control. <laughs> it's about the fact that I have a yard that I can go out and hang out in with my dog or whatever. You know, and actually have like a decent quality of life, so I could give a fuck less if there's a bike path near me somewhere, bro. So, all know. right, so I'll finish on this. Okay, so the argument here, all right, I don't remember where this come from, but but there there was a, I swear there was some study out there where they managed to make gorilla smarter. Cool. This reeks of bullshit, but I, I remember reading this somewhere, and they they they. Managed to make gorillas smarter, and it was a problem because the smarter gorillas became, the more depressed they were. Yes, right. And this is this is what it comes down to. Like, here's why the suburbs works. So, if you think about the living condition in general, you say, "All right, here are." If you were to reconcile and say, "Well, here are all the possibilities." Um, niceties and lies that your parents teach you, but before you know, before the age of five, when they say like you can do anything, blah 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 blah, <laughs> right? If you take that and said, all right, if your life is a misery because you're not able to achieve all of these things set upon you mm -hmm. at a young age, right? You'd want to kill yourself, <laughs> right? Much like the gorilla that suddenly became smart. But if you did all that. And you shared a cramped, shitty place with five other people. <laughs> Trying to do the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Being at the top of your job career, by the way. Um, right. Because evidently job hopping there is even worse than it is here. Oh, um, yeah. Um, doing that all the time, having nothing to come back to, mm -hmm. right? But at least here, it's like, I have a yard. I can yeah, you can have out. a yard, yeah. I'm not living. Go in up a, to the hills this weekend. Yeah, yeah I'm not yeah, in a exactly. capsule, I'm, right? Yeah. I'm not in a place where they say, "Sorry, no pets." You don't live in a sleep crate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they let you out in the yeah. morning. Right, to like, yeah. Go to the bathroom and then go to work. It out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, "No, everybody should live in these." No, fuck, man, fuck you. you. Yeah, fuck, fuck yeah, you. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> all right, all right. You make me go full rural. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. exactly. Anyway, I'm Pat. I'm Jeffrey. Hitting the button. Yeah. Rent control. <laughs>